Bora Darblant, it's Mrs Wood here and welcome to our Thursday Assembly and this week's Assembly is all about road safety. Now road safety has taken place this week and it's the UK's biggest road safety event and it happens every single year. Now this year's theme is Road Safety Heroes. Everyone that helps makes journeys safer and healthier or will help care for someone after a crash is a road safety hero. So I'd like you to have a think. What does it mean to be a hero? You might think that a hero helps people in trouble or they might work hard to overcome difficulty. They might be really brave. Who do you think are road safety heroes? So it might be a good point to pause the video here so you can have a chat as a class to discuss who do you think are road safety heroes. So here are just a few examples of people who help every single day. We have school crossing patrol, we have police officers and traffic wardens, we have road and highway designers, fire and rescue services, ambulances, medical staff, police family liaison officers, support services, road support charities, road safety charities. All these people either help people after a crash or they try to help keep our roads safer. Now here is a short video the theme of this year's assembly, as I've said, is Road Safety Heroes. So here's a short film telling you all about our road safety heroes. I want to tell you about some amazing road safety heroes who help us make safer journeys. School crossing patrols help us cross roads at safe places on our way to school or nursery. Grown-ups hold our hand when we walk near roads. If we go by bike, they ride with us on safe cycle paths and make sure we wear a helmet to protect our heads if we fall off. When we travel by car, our grown-ups make sure we always sit in our special child seat to keep us safe. They always wear a seatbelt and go at safe speeds and they never use a phone while driving. Road designers and town planners design streets for people so we all have safe places to walk, ride and play away from traffic. And police officers make sure that everyone uses roads safely. Even though we try to use roads safely, sometimes there's a crash. When this happens, people can get badly hurt. Fire and rescue services help people get out of their vehicles and take them to a safe place. Ambulances treat people's injuries and take them to hospital. Sometimes they go by van or helicopter. At the hospital, Doctors and nurses give people the medical care they need. This isn't very nice to hear, but sometimes people are so badly hurt in crashes that their bodies stop working and they die. When a special person dies, it makes us feel very sad. If this happens, our teachers, family and friends help us. We can talk about our special person and this makes us feel a bit better. Everyone who helps us make safer journeys and helps people after a crash is a road safety hero. These are my road safety heroes. Who are yours? Some really powerful messages there about our road safety heroes. So every four minutes, someone is seriously hurt on the roads in the UK and we all have the responsibility to make our journeys as safe as possible. So how can we support this year's theme? 
We can celebrate the work of people who have helped reduce the injuries and care for people affected by crashes. We can help to speak up for everyone's rights to make safe and healthy journeys where we live. And we can join together to form a community of road safety heroes. So what can we do to keep safe in the roads? Remember ABC. A for awareness, B for behaviour and C for choice. It's really important when we're out on the roads that we try not to get distracted. So think about all the things that might distract you when you are walking or cycling. Texting on your phone, your phone ringing, playing games on your phone, taking photos, talking, singing, skating, scooting, maybe something on the pavement. All these things are distractions and sometimes they can distract us from keeping our eyes on the road. And sometimes drivers can also get distracted by texting or talking on the phone, smoking, eating, drinking, listening to music, arguing or speeding, getting cross with other people in the car. Road rage is when you get really, really angry as well when you're driving or even alcohol. So these are all things that can distract drivers as well. But it's important that we really think about our behaviour and how can we stay safe. And there are lots of ideas here on how we can stay safe. For example, by using footbridges, by using pelican crossings, zebra crossings, toucan crossings, all of these things to help us to cross the roads safely. And I'll obviously remember in the green cross, the green cross code to think, make sure it's safe to cross where there are no obstacles in your way to stop, to look and listen, to wait until it is safe to cross, to look and listen as you cross and to walk across the road making sure that you're not running. Always trying to use pedestrian crossing when possible and also try not to cross the road from in between parked cars as the cars on the road won't be able to see you. And avoid also crossing near a bend as you can't see what's coming around the corner. And lastly, C, choice. Think about what you're wearing. So what to wear when you're walking. So high visibility jackets, those luminous yellow jackets or, or jackets with a bit of high vis on really help road users to see you. Bright and reflective colours, fluorescent colours, the show up in the daytime, flat shoes, Laces done up so you can't fall over and reflectors on your bag as well. And when cycling about the importance of wearing helmet or reflective gear, lights and reflectors on your bike and no loose laces either that, that could get tangled in your wheels. So, I'm going to test your hazard spotting skills now. So a hazard is something that is potentially dangerous. So on the next slide, I would like to see if you can spot one good behaviour, so something that is positive, and three potential hazards. So teachers, you might want to pause the video here for a minute so the children can try to identify the three potential hazards and the one good behaviour they can spot. So well done if you spotted those. The three red arrows there are pointing to the potential hazards. So we have the one child there throwing the ball and if the child has his back to the road, that's a potential hazard because he could easily catch the ball and then fall onto the road. We have another potential hazard there, the child on the skateboard leaving the park. They have no helmet on and they're also skating towards the road, which is a potential hazard. And the third potential hazard is the dog and the child running after the dog because that dog and that child could run on to the road. And the one positive behaviour we can see there is the mother holding the child's hand safely on the pavement. So well done if you spotted those. Lastly now, I'd like you to watch this short video. Watch a short video from Think. And it gives you some really, really useful tips on how to stay safe on the road. Joe! Were you going to cross out in front of that bus? Oh, Joe, come on, come with me. It's all right, come on, Joe. Come on. So, okay if I call you Joe? It's David. 
Classic Joe. Okay, listen up. If you step out in front of that bus, that bus is instantly leaving this stop. So you step out and if you step out in front of the bus and it still hasn't left, none of the cars coming that way can see you when you step out. So you see the problem, it's and that's a real problem. It means you can't see what's happening, the bus can't see what's happening, the cars can't see what's happening. However, if we wait, how long has this taken? A few seconds, now we have a clear road. Everything is safe and the world looks beautiful again. Off you go, Joe. Yes, nice one, Joe. Joe, you've smashed it. Hey, come on now. You're not about to walk into that road, are you? Staring at your phone screen. Yeah. You know how dangerous that is, though? Because, of course, if you're looking down here, you can't see what's happening here. And I know it's a zebra crossing, but that doesn't automatically mean it's going to be completely safe and everyone else is paying attention. True. You've got to look out for yourself, haven't you? I'm sorry to do it, but I need that. Thank you. Calling your mum. No, Hello? Mum, no. Barbara? Mum, no. Yeah. Oh, my good mum. But, no. yeah, she did it again. Straight into the road, staring at her phone. Yeah, no, she's absolutely fine, but I'll let her know you're not impressed. That's some pretty strong language, Barbara. Yeah, I'll let her know. Okay, thanks. Right, there's your phone back. Put that straight in your pocket. And now we can have another go across the road where everything is safe and everybody's okay. Okay. Should we give that a go? Okay. So we go, look over there, look over there, look over there. Everything looks good. Okay, we're going to wait as a car comes. So we'll wait. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. And they stop for us. Give them a little wave and off we go. Right. Say hello to your mum for me and I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Yes, guys, go on then, I'm open, I'm open. Thanks very much. What? Have it. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, guys, I had no choice. Think about it, we're out here on the edge of the road. If you get the ball in the road, who's gonna have to go and get it? One of you, then what happens? One of you's in the road, that's really dangerous. That's a nightmare, but look, we're in the park. So out of my safety, do what you want. I'll get the ball. Who's in? Nice. Make it count, make it count. Oh. I think that's probably me done, guys. Next time, though, remember when you're walking down the pavement, pop the ball in a bag or under your arm. Otherwise, it might bounce in front of a car, then you have to follow it, and then you're in front of a car, and that could be a nightmare. Anyway, I'm going for a half-time orange. Anyway, today's been really fun, so make sure you take care of yourselves and take care of each other, because when it goes wrong, it's not fun for anyone. Now I'm going to go, and I can't always be here to help you cross the road, because, well that would be ridiculous, like there's too many roads and the country's really big, and what about kids in other countries, they have roads and I have to sleep sometimes. You know? Some really useful tips there on how to stay safe on the roads, especially the tip about not looking at your phone when crossing the road so you can pay full attention. So let's finish now with our prayer, Gwedion. Diolch i ti am y byd, diolch am ein ffrindiau i gyd. Amen. I hope you have a lovely Thursday. Hoi o fawr.